What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Beastly Garage Kicks and Whips. And guess what we're doing today? Another customization. I know a lot of you guys been asking me, can you customize this? Can you customize that? Can I send you in shoes to customize? The answer is no, you can't. I just like messing with my own shoes. Except for this time, I'm messing with one of your guys' shoes. Like a couple videos ago, I said I wanted to do a customization on Crimson Tint. Instead, I wanted to take the color blocking and change it from that bread color blocking to, you know, just the two colors to the uh, shattered backboard, pine green, you know, that color blocking. I said, do one of you want to send me your shoes so that I could try this out? And I got some crazy subscribers because a lot of you guys said, yeah, take my shoes. So I chose a person who I saw was uh, contributing a lot to my channel in the comments and stuff. I said, you know what? Hey, do you want to send me your shoes? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, all right then. Uh, you crazy though. And he was like, take them. And I was like, if I mess up, you can't sue me. And he was like, okay. So then I got his shoes and here they are. Well, you know how this is going to work. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you my whole process and then the end product. Hit that like button and send me those positive vibes for uh, a good result here. Cause we don't know how it's going to turn out. I never know how it's going to turn out. I never know. So enough of my pretty face. Let's get to the table. Uh, before I start, I'm just gonna go over the supplies that I'm gonna use. The Angelus Flat Black Paint for the swoosh, or the swoosh. I think I got criticized last video for calling it a swoosh. So uh, if I say swoosh, you know what I mean. Damn internet. Uh, for the white portion, and that'll just be here, around here and around the back, and the same thing on the other side. Uh, Angelus Flat White Acrylic Leather Paint. This custom is just done with two colors, white and black, so the basics. We're also going to use a little bit of the uh, leather preparer and glaze just to get the, the painted surfaces ready to accept the paint and to adhere better. So now, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to tape up the areas that do not need to be painted. And uh, you can do this without taping, but I prefer to tape just because I'm a little bit more cautious and I'm sloppy. So uh, I'm going to tape up everything except the areas that I need to tape. I mean paint around here. And I'm going to save and all around here, I'm going to save. So uh, this is going to be a pretty easy custom. However, it will take a lot of paint most likely to cover up just black. I know it did on the... Uh, Hyper Royals, so I'm expecting it to take at least six coats here. Uh, let's get this shoe taped up and then we'll come back and clean it up with the, uh, the glazer. All right, we're all done taping up here. I'm gonna try to knock this out simultaneously. And uh, yeah, taping is a necessary job for me. If you're nice and neat, then uh, yeah, you can skip this part. So now we could just move on to uh, hitting this with the glazer in the areas that we need to paint. start painting and this process is going to take a while as we go ahead and hit this these black panels with a lot of coats so thin coats many of them is better than thick coats is done on both shoes and uh, first coat always takes the longest because I gotta be careful and fill in all the little spots that I want to get 
what, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth coat. Hopefully, no seventh. Uh, should go a lot faster. And uh, for you guys, it'll be as fast as a 10 second time lapse. So it is day two. My eyes got tired, so I went down for the night. And I'm uh, going to resume this project shortly. But you can see here, I put three coats on each shoe. And yeah, getting good coverage. It's just about where I think it should be. Uh, halfway through. And uh, this is by far the hardest, not hardest, but the longest part of the process. Just getting all the coats down. And then once we're done with that, I'll go ahead and paint the uh, Nike swoosh. And then go and touch up everything that I might have, um, you know, got white paint on that shouldn't have gotten white paint on. I had to be real careful with getting paint or not getting paint on the back, the back portion here, the peach portion, because I don't have peach paint. So um, if I get paint back there, I can't do anything about it. Let's just go ahead and get the painting again, even longer. After six coats, everything looks completely covered. Um, yeah, I don't see any black showing on the shoe, except for spots where I know I gotta go in with a more detailed brush. Once I go through and do the trimming, like the top of the fabric, I'm gonna paint that white as well with a smaller brush, and I'll probably come along and just do a, a seventh coat after that. So, keep on moving forward. All right, so we got the tinier brush now. Let's go in here and do some fine tuning. No, I just gotta do the tops of the fabric on here. Okay guys, we are done with the white for now, unless I have to touch anything up. I'm sure I will once I start messing with the black. But uh, yeah, we went around, we did do fine detailing of this top piece without getting any on a peach. What I'm gonna do right now is start painting the swoosh on uh, both shoes and then I'll go and do all the detailing of cleaning up the white around here, making it all black and crisp and fixing it here. So let's take off this tape around this part because. Oh, I need it anymore. You can finally start to see this, uh, I don't know, what am I calling it? Um, Crimson toe, peach toe. I'm gonna to spend the next uh, little bit of time going around, putting another coat on the swoosh, and then um, uh, going in and with a really small brush and getting rid of all the white where it shouldn't be, as well as all around there. We're getting there. I can see the finish line. Just taking this little white uh, paintbrush and going around and just touching up the slightest little bits of black that I accidentally touched on the white when when I was doing the swoosh and we are almost just about done with this custom and just going around touching up spots and uh, overall I, I did all right I didn't have to um, I don't have to clean up too much 
I know a lot of the stuff I'm doing is not in frame. It's hard to look at the the screen and pay attention to what I'm doing at the same time. Take off this tape. Is that the last piece of tape? I've already done the other shoe. It's a new day. It's actually day three from the, is it day three? No, yeah, it's day three from when I originally started. So uh, yeah, it shouldn't take three days to do it, but I'm doing this in the evening, just a couple hours at a time. And uh, yeah, forget about that. Just look, it looks good. It looks good. And I did clean up every little spot I saw on here where I might've uh, just, had a little bit too much black somewhere, a little bit too much white, and it came out really nice. Really nice. Take a look at that. What do you guys think? Come on now, if you didn't hit that thumbs up yet, just go ahead and just hit it. It's not gonna cost you anything. I swear to God, I won't charge you nothing. Um, I do have to add one final touch to the shoe, and I already did it one time on this one. And I think it's just a finishing touch. If you have the white going through, you have to have a white stitch in just to make it look authentic. And that's actually pretty hard to do um, and not look sloppy. I end up doing this with a small brush and I had to come back with the black brush and then tidy up around. But uh, I'm gonna try a method that I heard might work and it's taking a little dab of paint on a toothpick and then going in and doing it like that. So uh, yeah, let's see if that method works. Try it. Don't be afraid to mess up, man. All right, got a little dab of paint you can see there. And let's see if I can make these laces white. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. That seemed to work out okay. Let me do another one. I guess it's, it'll work as long as you can keep your fingers steady. How about that? How about that? All right, that looks all right. I'm not gonna play with it. <laughs> Let that dry and we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Two more times. Oh, this one's done. It actually looks better than the one I did with the um, the brush. It's nice and thin. So, yeah. There you go. That is it. I am done with this custom. Now, I did mention uh, previously that I was going to clear this with some uh, Cryon. I think it's Cryon Matte Clear. I'm actually not going to do that because. Um, I went back and I looked at the, the Hyper Royals that I did that I turned into Game Royals. And um, what happened was I, I put it on there, I put it on really thick. I put the clear on really thick and I'm noticing a little bit of cracking in the Hyper Royals, in the Hyper Royals. Only when I bend it hard, I do see it crack. And I think it's because of the way I put that um, cryon on. But just to be sh sure, I'm not gonna use it on this shoe. Uh, I know this paint is durable enough where it does not crack on its own. It will not crack. Uh, and, and the way I tested that is that I painted this belt with the same type of paint, just red, uh, a few months ago. And I didn't put any protection on it. This is just or maybe four or five coats of red. Same paint that I'm using on here. This belt is a lot more flexible than any um, thing the owner of this shoe will ever do. So. This belt is upstairs in my room. I always mess with it just to see if it's gonna start flaking. And you can see it does not flake or crack or bend off or anything like this. I'm scratching at it and you can see there's no paint coming off. So this paint is really durable. If, it's, if the leather is prepped right, it's not gonna come off. The only thing I have to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lace this bad boy up. Let's see, what do we go, wanna go with the black or do we go with the peach. We gotta crack the peach open. I'm gonna see how these look. So let's crack the peach open, throw the peach laces in here, and uh, big final reveal coming up right now.
need a pair for my feet because those things are straight heat. I ain't need me to rhyme, but man, they fire. They are awesome. They came out nice. I liked them before I even did the custom and now I just like them that much more. So let's take a look at how they started. I do have the unaltered pair right here. It goes from that to that. What do you like better? You tell me, you like the original or do you like the, uh, the more of the, uh, the shattered backboard, pine green, court purple, that look, what do you like? Put it down in the comments, what do you think? Did I do a good job? Uh, would you wear these? Does, is this now a shoe that you will cop just so you can do this custom? I'd like to know. Be sure to use code Beastly Garage at rejuvenator.com to receive 10% off of your purchase. You know I'm gonna hit these bad boys with this as soon as I'm done, just to make sure they're protected because I didn't go through all that work for nothing. I think that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't subscribe, what are you waiting for? How many bangers do I gotta drop before you hit that subscribe button? Just do it. And I'm out of this, John. Later.